Hi and welcome to another edition of Beating Around the Bush with Bobby. Uh, today I've got with me our fast bowler Clint Mackay, who's just come off a stunning uh, couple of months, uh, especially you know debuting for Australia in India. Um, he just come off another game in the in the All Star 2020 game where he took three wickets, um, and it's become a bit of a habit for the uh, for the Victorian blokes when they debut to, to get Sachin out. So what was that? What was that like? First of all, Rob, we got a microphone, so pulling out the screaming into the microphone, we can actually hear you. Uh, second of all, yeah, it was a great sort of thrill being over there, and 10 years down the track, it's probably going to be a better story than the real story when it was 170 off 120 balls, but yeah, it was a great thrill to be out there and be a part of it. Definitely good to get him no matter what he's on. Now, you uh, you did very well, as I said before, in the uh, in the All-Star game. Um, you've done well in India. There's a bit of a combination there of 2020 in India. Any IPL offers of late? No, definitely not. We've actually got Shield games, Rob, coming into the start of the IPL, so that takes priority. Victorian Bush Rangers, so hopefully we'll be there for another final and we'll worry about the IPL after that. So just because there's a Shield game tomorrow, if someone rings you up offering you an IPL contract, you're saying, no, sorry, I'm not talking to you, I've got a Shield game tomorrow. I don't know, Rob, I'd like to hear your take on this as well, so maybe me and you can go and tag in tandem, sorry. Hey, I'm lucky, someone's unfortunately sold me up already, so. <laughs> um, more personally, mate, uh, are you single or are you taken at the moment? No, Rob, I'm very single at the moment. So the, the rumours aren't true around the change room that you, you might have a girlfriend? No, definitely no girlfriend. Rob's not quite sure we're going with this, but hopefully. Have you been single for a while? Uh, actually, a long while, a few years now. So I'm just trying to take the career serious, Rob, as you know, and with busy schedules and those sort of things, so more things to worry about. Are you looking for a girlfriend or happy single? Not sure, Bob, at the moment I'm happy single, but you never know what's down the track to you. Okay, when you when you when you're looking for a girl or, or a, a, a potential partner, is is it looks or personality? Oh, definitely looks, Bob. You know, <laughs> no, definitely not. You know, a nice girl, I would have thought so. No, hopefully, one's not far away, maybe. And now, do you expect do you expect the same back from the girls? Like, do you expect them to see you for your looks or your personality? I'm hoping personality, because I'm not a great looking fella. I need big ears, and they stick out a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully, you just charm them. Yeah, that was my next topic. Was going to be your ears. Do you uh, do you cop much grief about your ears? Lots. Too much. <laughs> Plenty, and probably you're the main offender, Rob. So. I'm the main offender. Uh, you're you're saying I'm number one. I'm number one. one. So you're saying I give you I give you the most grief in the squad. Uh, you'd, you'd be definitely in the top three, and with all your sort of shortcomings, I, I'm not quite sure where. You're well, you shouldn't use short around me as well. But who are the other two? To give you grief. You're a very tall fella, Rob, so I'm not quite sure about that. But definitely the captain, Cameron White's definitely one. And probably my little mate who sits next to me over here, Matt Wade, he's, he's definitely up there as well. They're probably the two little antagonists. By the sounds of it, they're fairly ruthless on you, aren't they? You could say ruthless. I like to think relentless, to be honest, Bob. <laughs> um, now, having ears like that, you'd have a, co a couple of nicknames. Can you run us through a few of your nicknames? Probably the main one of late, and no offence to this person, but Gilly. Um, he's probably the... He's used to get a little bit too, but apparently so do mine. So that's probably the one I've been pigeonholed with lately. Hopefully you're as, uh, as, as successful as he was. Oh, I don't think that's ever going to happen, Bob. So you can be half as successful as him. You've had a pretty good life, haven't you? Um, there's another another nickname floating around, Squid. Where does that come from? Uh, I think Hodgie made that one up, but to be honest, I'm not quite sure. I think it's because I was a bit fat and <laughs> something to do with that. So <laughs> Nothing to do with your loose, loose skin looking like tentacles? Oh, I don't know. Hopefully I can lose some weight and lose that one pretty quick. I reckon you looked all right in that kit the other night in the All-Star match. Guns, guns were showing. They were excellent. They were excellent. Now, fast bowlers are renowned for being fairly simple. Um, do, you, do you reckon you fall under that same category? Well, I passed you 12, so I think I'm going a bit better than a few other bowlers floating around here. Names, please. Young Jay Pattinson may have to go back a couple of times. We won't worry about that. He's a good friend of mine, so hopefully he doesn't hear this, though. had a million dollars, which... There's a chance you're going to have a million dollars in the next 18 months. What would you do with it? I'd probably take you out for dinner and be the first one, Bob. That'd be first. Oh, enjoy your company. I'll probably buy that slab I actually do over with Asahi as well. So, a VB, sorry, agree. But we uh, <laughs> won't worry about that. Asahi, you're with them anyway, I think. Oh, it's okay then. Maybe Asahi then. Probably the first one, Bob, and enjoy your company. So, maybe we can maybe go have a nice bottle of wine after that. All right, Clint. Well, thank you very much for, for your time, mate, and good luck in the, in the upcoming Shield game.